Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use downbeat hints with smart tempo and loops in Logic Pro. So this video is a bit of a follow-up to the video I released yesterday, which demonstrates how to import external loops and match their tempo to your project tempo. So in that video, we matched three loops, one that was 112, another one that was 107, and another one that was 125 to a tempo of 117 without having to do any of this like time stretching sort of old school way of approaching this. All of the loops were automatically matched to my project tempo. And just as a quick recap, you can get to that by going up here where it says keep tempo, keep it on keep mode, go down to smart tempo project settings, and you wanna make sure that set import files two is set to on. Now, I'm gonna turn this off just for a moment because sometimes when you're working with the loops or external files uh, of any kind, you may find that they don't always start on the downbeat. They may have pickup notes in them or just they're a recording that has sort of an ambiguous starting point. So for example, here is a loop that's very much uh, like the other disco loop I just played you, except it has a fill on the front of it, and it's also at 112. So it's not in the correct tempo, and it doesn't start on the downbeat. Let's go ahead and listen to that by itself. So the real beat starts right here. This is like the beginning of the beat, and this is all just a fill. So, you know, you could do your best to try to match that up with the grid manually, just like so. But once again, we're going to be drifting out of time because it's not in the same tempo as the project. In fact, what I'll do is, since I'm going to have to use a pickup here, I'm going to move these loops over to bar two. You can hear after about the first or second beat there, it gets off. Okay, let's go back up here. Let's go to Smart Tempo Project Settings. Let's set imported files to on, and then let's drag and drop that same file in. There we go. And this is gonna ask you if you want to edit the downbeat and tempo. So this time we're gonna click Show, and this will open up the Smart Tempo Editor. And in the Smart Tempo Editor, you can add a downbeat hint, and you'll see it automatically snaps to the transients in the loop as well. So this is that fill, and this is that first kick drum. Now, if I click on this, it's going to set that as a downbeat hint. Now, it may do that automatically. Uh, if it doesn't, just select the region and then click where you want the downbeat hint to be, and you'll see that it shifts the whole recording over to be on the next downbeat. So now, not only is our loop at the proper tempo, the first beat, the first downbeat is where it needs to be. And then I can just use whatever edit tools I want to repeat that just like so. And there you go, that's how you can use downbeat hints in the Smart Tempo Editor for matching up the tempo of loops that do not start on the downbeat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.